Ladies and gentlemen, we have today in the studio uh, Professor Mani L. Bomik, who has been also elected as a uh, fellow of uh, American Physical Society and is also fully fledged is it member of IEEE? Uh, is it a life member. Life Quite member. True. And uh, it is indeed an honor, uh, Mani, to be <laughs> in the studio. I, I met you recently and uh, I was lucky to have your paper in my hand and I really appreciate that. I Thank couldn't you. help reading it that very night and put it in an honest way. I was quite impressed by it. So uh, thank you very much for that. Oh, thank you, yeah. But whilst I was reading, some questions came up sure. from your article. So it'll be great if you could uh, elaborate on it or throw some more light on it. It'll be my pleasure, uh, yes. Because uh, mm -hmm. it, it is parallel to the way I actually think about quantum mechanics. Wonderful. And also you have some connections with the Eastern philosophy also. That helps me a lot because most of the Western physicists uh, have uh, either some clue or no clue whatsoever uh, regarding the source and everything else. They think everything is uh, experimentally based and things like well, that. Well, not all of them. There are some exceptions, are but they? most of them. Okay. Yeah. So the first question I wanted to ask you was, um, as you say in the paper, that um, uh, careful uh, investigation uh, suggests that this traveling uh, quantum particle you say it as a holistic wave yes. now um, consisting of uh, uh, like an uh, assemblage of uh, disturbances. Ir ir irregular disturbances. Uh, irregular in disturbances yeah. in, in quantum fields. Could, mm -hmm. could, you, could you explain what you exactly mean by that? I, in other words, is this holistic wave packet, is it holographic in some sense or non-local in some sense? Uh, well, uh, not a, uh, of course, it's uh, non-local in the sense that if it gets entangled something, uh -huh. like for instance, uh, one of the uh, theory of why the wave function uh, evolving very nicely, uh, how do we call it, unitary way, all of a sudden discontinuously collapses, and that right. has been a big mystery since the beginning of quantum physics, and still a, a bit of a mystery, but the, right. the gaining, uh, there may be more than one mechanism actually, and the gaining one is that uh, it gets entangled with the environmental particles, environmental also environmental detector, okay. or rather the environment of the detector or whatever it hits, um, also are made of quantum particle. So they get entangled with that. And but uh, the detector or thing that uh, the wave hits uh, has, is thermal. So it has irreversible motion, so okay. it, get, uh, it gets reduced. And oh. that's the uh, you know, most accepted theory right now. Okay. But I think in addition to that, there are other, other mechanisms um, like uh, uh, Roger Penrose's uh, gravitational self collapse, or, or, or Andy talked about this morning about uh, consciousness collapsing with function. But the main thing without those two, I would say, would be uh, this. Uh, in, uh, uh, incoherent uh, uh, or, or the decoherence, I should say, of, of the environment. But getting back to the uh, holistic uh, part of it, mm -hmm. is that uh, because it's holistic, because when an electron is mm -hmm. created, mm -hmm. uh, well, to begin with, there's a, there'll be a big mystery that uh, all electrons in the universe mm -hmm. are exactly identical. Identical, okay. And that was a big mystery for a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, physicists came to the under, uh, understanding of this uh, quantum field theory. Okay. And uh, uh, it is a field in the sense that it's continuous, just like classical field. Mm -hmm. uh, we are used to uh, classical uh, gravity field. Mm -hmm. But the classical field has uh, has similarity to quantum field only in to that only to that point that is continuous. Mm -hmm. Quantum field is also continuous, mm -hmm. but classical field is a source and it uh, its magnitude decreases with distance. Yeah, it diminishes with diminishes. distance. Yeah, but quantum field doesn't. It is its own source. is the ultimate objective reality, yeah. and it is exactly the same throughout this immensely vast. So universe. distance doesn't matter. Basically, uh, uh, huh? the distance doesn't matter. It's uh, same. Uh, it's uh, 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 you know what we call in technical terms is Lorentz invariant. Okay, uh, that is a, so it is exactly the same no matter where you go. So would I be right in saying it's non-local? 
in a sense, yes, but non -local, the word non-local has been associated <laughs> uh, uh, with this, uh, you know, quantum kind of entanglement. Yeah. I, in fact, uh, in my book uh, that I wrote, uh, Code, uh, Code Name God, I used the quantum Co field. Code Name God. Yeah, okay. the, the qu qu quantum fields are non-local in the sense that they're exactly the same everywhere. Okay, some that, that's what I meant. And some physicists said, uh, but no, no, non-local means Entanglement. <laughs> like, uh, no, no, uh, no, no. Uh, but in in that sense, it is non-local because okay. it's the same, exact same everywhere, and it hasn't changed since uh, uh, time began. And so now, what keeps what keeps this uh, uh, fidelity of these fields? Mind you, they're not just sitting around; they're uh -huh. extremely uh, uh, active. Okay. Uh, in, uh, quantum fields. One of the characteristics is that is always alive with quantum activity, okay. uh, which is a special characteristic that it is um, always fluctuating at the mind-boggling speed, like 10 to the minus 24 second okay. or less. Uh, and we've been able to measure up to 20, 10 to the minus 24 second yeah. or less. So and also, uh, it is totally unpredictable. Okay. You cannot tell which particular event is going to happen when. But if you have a whole bunch of them, then you can predict a, uh, a calculate a half life. Uh, half life of okay. Uh, yeah. So, are you saying? Uh, there's two questions here. First of all, let me ask you this one. This quantum field you talk about, has it got a source? Where it's coming from? Do, do, it, do we it, know it anything have, about? So far, it is just there, or it is just there. So okay. far, so far, it is the ultimate objective reality. Maybe someday we will know. Uh, that uh, there is a deeper reality, as is always apparent. But quantum field has been so successful in uh, describing all the experimental phenomena. The standard model of quantum field theory okay. uh, uh, describes very accurately all the interactions of the quantum fields. And uh, by quantum field theory calculation, you can uh, verify the uh, measured, uh, or what do you call, electrons and G factor mm. uh, to uh, one part in 10 to the power 12, uh, one, one in ten trillion accuracy. Wow. It a agrees with the uh, theory and the experiment. Okay. So uh, that gives us quite a bit of confidence, uh, apart from other things that it has uh, really explained all the standard model particle physics phenomena. Okay. Uh, that it is going to, is fundamental aspects or a fundamental description is going to be there no matter what comes up, just like Newton's law, still is good, except when you go to higher velocity or uh, stronger gravity, you have to mm. change uh, okay. uh, to, into Einstein's gravity. But Newton's law doesn't go away. In this field, in this area, it is still active. So uh, the quantum fields as it stands, uh, as the ultimate objective reality, it will still be there, but it may have a deeper People are talking about uh, a grand synthesis of quantum field theory, string theory, uh, a spin network, and uh, twisted theory, uh, from which they think this is something, uh, the quantum nature and space-time itself will come out. And I think Einstein, in a sense, Einstein in a sense said, in a, not in a quantum uh, uh, aspect, but uh, he said the same thing, that space-time does not exist without a field. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know he was men of course mentioning he was thinking of the gravity field. Okay. Uh, so there might be something that will come up eventually. Physics is only four year, 400 years old, and sure. quantum physics is, uh, uh, is only 100 years old. Okay. Mere 100 years ago, we did not even know what the atom was <laughs> looked inside. Yeah, I agree with that. Now tell me something. This quantum field you talk about, does it have any relation or connection with the quantum potential? Uh, I, I do believe that. Uh -huh. uh, the, uh, are you talking the quantum potential that David Bohm talked about? Correct, when he split yeah. the Schrodinger equation yeah. Yeah. into mm -hmm. classical and the non classical. And uh, oh, well, I mean, uh, actually, uh, he used the uh, particular wave function mm -hmm. uh, as a, as, uh, to solve the Schrodinger equation, and then right. Schrodinger equation comes in two parts. Right. And in one part, mm -hmm. if you put Planck's constant to zero, then it becomes classical, uh, uh, classical uh, Newtonian mechanics. Uh, so uh, Newtonian actually. mechanics, yes. I mean, uh, actually in the form of Hamil uh, Ham uh, uh, Hamilton? Uh, uh, classical yeah. Hamilton. Uh, yeah. The reason his theory didn't become popular 
okay. is that he never explained where the energy of the quantum potential comes from. Oh. Quantum potential means a potential energy, mm. but where that quantum potential energy comes from. Nobody yeah. has figured uh, that out. Uh, or I have. You have. <laughs> that, okay. that Let's we talk about that well, because that's well, so interesting. Well, it is the uh, this fluctuations of the uh, of the field, irregular disturbance. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because even though they're fleeting, uh, like ten to the power minus twenty four second or less, but on an average, there's always some. Uh, uh, some are, uh, many of them are coming uh, and many of them are dying. Right. Uh, on an average, they enough to give uh, energy, okay. uh, which can uh, act as the quantum potential energy. Yeah. So do you think this quantum field theory has, um, has uncovered the, the objective reality now? Well, that's what I'm saying, that so far this is the objective reality. If there is any deeper reality, I think this, what, we, uh, what is characteristics are portrayed now, they will not go away. Okay. This so is as far as our perception yeah, just like yeah, Newton's law is not going away. <laughs> right, <okay. laughs> uh, even Einstein's uh, theory of gravity is not compatible with quantum gravity. So there, there we have to do some tweaking, to how to make it compatible with quantum, quantum mechanics, with the quantum gravity. But uh, the, well, uh, one thing I want to tell you interesting is that when I looked into the quantum field theory and I saw, is, re is it really mind-boggling that in space there is nothing, no matter, no, no, nothing at all. And, uh, uh, but how this field, or all those fields, they remain immutable and exactly the same. There has to be self-referral, yes. which is the hallmark of awareness, yeah. which, is, which is part of a basis of consciousness. That's what got me interested. Oh. And then I realized that this could also explain this wave particle duality that is uh, and, and uh, plagued uh, people and also the wave function collapse you know, uh, why it happens, why the so collapse. So where happens. would you intercept consciousness here in this quantum in the, field? Uh, uh, what keeps these uh, quantum fields uh, intact, uh, 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 same everywhere in the universe? Ah, oh, I see. So that's your connection. Uh, same, uh, same everywhere in the so universe. It's in there charge has to be some kind of a, it, it must refer to itself. So are you saying that consciousness could be the, the uh, if you like, a source? Of these disturbances, or well, in, in it charge is a of it is a in intertwined. Intertwined with it, okay. Because uh, the quantum fields, like the gluon field or the uh, uh, inflaton field, they are what we call in uh, mathematical. It's extremely mathematically yeah, complicated, and uh, we use called so-called uh, non-abelian gauge theories and non-abelian theories, and they have self-referral. They refer to itself, like. A we, you know, I don't have to tell you who you are. I, I know who I am. Okay. So it's a self-referral is the basic characteristic of any animate, animate species. Uh, uh, and here we are, quantum field has the same uh, yeah. capacity. So what does it give it universally? Mm. And that's why I think is a source of the proto-consciousness is there. Okay. Tell me how, um, this is for the audience, how mathematically is this uh, irregular disturbances depicted? I mean, how do you symbolize it, etc.? Um, well, uh, how do you explain this? These fields, uh, when they are enough energy, then uh, they create a particle, uh, depending upon which field. Electron has its own electron quantum fields. Mm -hmm. uh, proton, I mean, quark has its own quantum fields. Um, uh, all, all, you know, uh, photon has its photon. Because I, I overheard you, was it yesterday or something, you mentioned Feynman, Feynman yeah. di diagrams? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that mm -hmm. how you... Feynman diagram uh, is a simpler way to calculate the effect of these fluctuations. Ah, the, okay. the fluctuations exist, uh, that something is, uh, uh, is what gives all these measurable effects of what we call the Casimir okay. uh, effect and the lamp shift and uh, 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 and the, I, I saw the picture of that uh, irregular uh, inhomogeneity of the cosmic background radiation mm -hmm. but uh, the quantum field has two things one thing is that uh, you know uh, not only is same everywhere but it's also act locally it's non-local mm -hmm. in a sense that is same everywhere, but only act locally, meaning what happens here doesn't immediately affect uh, another part. It's a relativistic field. Okay. So uh, what happens here is not uh, affecting anything else, uh, anywhere else. 
And so what happens uh, that it creates an electron as, uh, in, from the electron field as long as there is enough energy for the electron. Mm -hmm. But if there is not, uh, since there is in, in absence of energy in the vacuum, there is no, and, uh, yeah. there is no um, uh, source of energy mm -hmm. there. It, you know, uh, that's one of the things that happens in quantum, me quantum mechanics is that uh, you can have a, uh, a fluctuation uh, limited by, uh, for a limited time, mm -hmm. where the indeterminacy of the energy and the indeterminacy of the, of the time mm -hmm. will be equal to the Planck constants. So that's so-called the energy uncertainty principle. Okay. And uh, that means that uh, that allows these quantum fields to all the time fluctuating, many, many of them uh, fluctuating. And, uh, and actually, you can calculate what their effect is uh, by using Feynman diagram. Okay, I get and, you now the connection. And, and Feynman <laughs> used to say, what a waste of time, uh, creating, destroying, creating, destroying, yeah. what a waste of time. <laughs> but without that, creation would not be possible. Possible, yeah. Okay, now, this um, Heisenberg uncertainty principle, uh, what is your take on that? Is it is it misunderstood? Um, yes, um, to, uh, with this observer effect, do you think? Um, well, no. Heisenberg originally proposed the uncertainty principle in terms of measurement, okay. uh, the uncertainty of measurement, position uh, measurement and uh, and uh, uh, moment, momentum uncertainty and position uncertainty would be equal to h. But it turns out that really in case of measurement, the uncertainty principle needs a couple more terms. So original formula of Heisenberg uncertainty principle is incorrect. And, uh, and now it has been corrected by, uh, uh, in, uh, in the last couple of years, by quantum computation people. Because okay. for them, information theory uh, is very important and uh, the measurement has to be uh, totally uh, compatible with everything else. But original ori origin of this thing comes from the fact that uh, in an atomic dimension, you cannot deal uh, uh, with the electron as a point particle. Okay. It, it comes <coughs> as a wave packet. And so it, it is a characteristic of any wave, uh, pro uh, proper, any wave system mm -hmm. that you have this uh, uh, uncertainty in position and uncertainty momentum that are what we call conjugate variable. And their product, uh, in, as measured in co what we call standard deviation, uh, becomes equal or la larger, larger than the uh, uh, Planck's dimension divided by four, uh, h bar, half h bar. H bar, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's so that's that h over two pi, right? If I remember it. H, h over bar? two pi is a h bar, yeah. and then half h bar is the total, uh, you know, gotcha. the value we are to talking about. So the that part is intrinsic to any wave system. Mm -hmm irrespective of measurement. So uh, uh, we can use that, that part and that, that equivalent that gets, you can uh, uh, express that as directed in terms of energy uncertainty and time uncertainty. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, the uncertainty that we usually talk about uh, in uh, position and momentum, you can, con turn, uh, with, with the same thing can be reduced to energy uncertainty and time uncertainty. And okay. using that, these quantum fluctuations are ubiquitously, and many of them are okay, coming. Okay, gotcha. Lastly, um, uh, what do you have to say about um, the young physicists of today? Where, where, sh where, where would you recommend they do research um, to take this science a little bit further? Uh, uh, you mean the consciousness theory? science? Both consciousness and, and also how quantum field theory can, can how can they do more research, or which direction can they do more research? Well, the right now, system? most of the quantum field uh, theory, uh, there is a lot of work still going on in a strong interactions, uh, uh -huh. strong field. Uh, but um, the quantum gravity is where most of the impact at UCLA, there's a, a quite a, uh, uh, you know, uh, extensive activity going on, which I'm supporting partly. Okay. And quantum gravity, where they are there are different approaches to quantum gravity, and this one is basically extending the uh, uh, one that has been established for the other three force gauge the, forces. The, yeah. uh, okay. basically, basically, what in terms of again lingos is that it's the uh, super Young Mills theory mm -hmm. uh, based, uh, which then others are doing quantum gravity in terms of uh, a, a spin network like uh, uh, the uh, Lee Smolin and people who does the uh, 
uh, uh, loop quantum gravity. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, of course, uh, uh, string theory had its own uh, quantum gravity. Uh, they are the one who first came out with the uh, fact that uh, uh, that uh, that's where string theory become popular. That there is graviton and it is spin two uh, graviton, and uh, no other theory has shown that. Okay. So, uh, right now it's amazing that string theory is still a theory with, uh, uh, without any experimental evidence at all, and yet okay. tens of thousands of very bright young people are uh, working on it throughout the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, it's been an honor um, talking to you, uh, Mani. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you. Thank, Thank you. you. We Thank hope you. to uh, see you again. Um, when when uh, we'll have more definitive, uh, you know, uh, theory of uh, consciousness, uh, and hopefully uh, in the next uh, few years. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, you know, uh, people say it could be 22nd century problem, but okay. we're making good progress. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank, Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.